So on today's video, we're going to talk about the original line. I've had a few of you guys ask me, what are your favorite pods from the original line? And I think it's mainly because a few of you guys are trickling over into the original line, buying a second machine, and just kind of want to know a little bit about the original line. So that's what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to show you guys. Let me count them. Perfect. We have 10 pods that we're going to talk about that I think will kind of kickstart your original line adventures. So... Without further ado, let's get started with this video. So here are 10 of my favorite pods. There, I do have a lot more, but I'm just gonna start with 10 and then we'll maybe do another video in the future. So if you guys have any questions that maybe I didn't really touch base on, always leave them in the comment section because I am always answering all of my comments. If you guys have Instagram, I'll put my handle right here so you guys can check it out. Do a lot of reels using different pods, both from Virtuo and Original Line. So if you guys are interested, Check me on Instagram, but I'm always answering my DMs there as well. So I'm going to so. start with Columbia. This is Columbia right here. Mauvy, I would call this pod. Usually with the original line, you can brew. I believe there's some machines that have the ristretto option, but mine doesn't. There are certain pods that will give you the option of doing it ristretto. Most of them will tell you. You can do espresso or longo or just espresso. All right, so Columbia is a whiny and red fruit pod. It's a level intensity six, and you could do this one either espresso or longo. Longo, it just brews a little bit longer, so you have a little bit more volume. And I believe the longo might even have more caffeine. Correct me if I'm wrong, any of you guys that really know about coffee. I think longos have a little bit more caffeine because obviously you're drinking more, so that's that's what I gather. An espresso will give you a 1.35 ounce and the Longo will give you a 3.7. The way I like to drink this one is with like creme de cacao from Torani or you can even do, I used to have it but I ran out of it, the almond milk chocolate version with this was also really good. I mainly do Longos when I drink these hot but if I do iced coffees I tend to do espresso and that's what's nice about these. You can do either or with these so it's really nice to have that option. But Columbia is, if you're you know new to the original line, I think Columbia is a nice pod to definitely give a try. So I'll pick whatever. Oh yes, Freddo Intenso is my next favorite. This one is far superior, in my opinion, uh, to Bianco. Wait, what is it called? Ice Legero from the Virtual line. The Virtual line either has an espresso iced Legero, that's like a double espresso, and then they have a coffee capsule that's called Ice Forte. Ice Forte to me is, I don't know, it's not espresso. So if you want a stronger tasting espresso, more stronger than Ice Legero, Freddo Intenso is where it's at. If I had to choose between Ice Legero and um, Freddo Intenso, I'm getting confused with all these names. I would definitely choose Freddo Intenso. This one, I always do two shots of Freddo Intenso in a latte, ice, my choice of milk, a little bit of syrup, and call it a latte. So that's what I prefer. Usually if you ask for, for example, at Starbucks, if you ask for a tall iced latte, then all you need is one espresso. If you ask for a grande, then you need two espresso shots. Honestly, this one pairs well with so many different flavors. I feel like it's a very kind of like neutral, uh, base so but let me just tell you so this one is bold and dark and roasted toasted cereal and woody bold dark and roasted whenever i see cereals toasted i feel like those notes really lend themselves to pretty much any flavor so whatever flavor you like as far as syrup and with further intenso you'll be good to go and both of these so far the sleeves are seven dollars and twenty cents all right next one so the next one is Caramel Creme Brulee. This one is similar to uh, the Virtual Lines Caramel Cookie. But here's the thing, and this is why I like having both machines. Sometimes Caramel Cookie is awesome in the morning. You get your big cup of coffee and you're good to go, right, in the mornings. But for the afternoons, I tend to like iced coffee. And I really like caramel cookie, but I want a latte. And I just prefer lattes. And so this is where the original line comes in. This is an espresso capsule. So you don't do it as longo. I think this one is only 
great when you do espresso and you can do a caramel creme brulee latte usually i pair these with their like corresponding flavors i don't really like mess around too much because honestly i just like pairing flavor to flavor especially for example if this one is a caramel pod i'm gonna do a caramel syrup but these are from the barista creations line within the original line and so these tend to not have like an intensity so i think these are if you if you really want to know kind of an intensity i would say it's like a medium roast intensity but it doesn't specify as far as like number on their website creamy notes of caramel coconut vanilla dance throughout the barista creations caramel creme brulee the base blend for this nespresso flavored coffee consists of some of the south america's finest arabicas such a good pod just perfect for an iced latte honestly now that i think of it i've never tried this warm or hot but i'm sure it's I'm sure it's good okay so the next pot is this one this one is called chiaro and this one is also from their barista creations line and this one is supposed to be brewed as ristretto but this is what i mean i don't have that setting in my machine so i usually do an espresso i wouldn't recommend doing this as a lungo because i feel like then that would be really watered down and i know somebody had told me that they don't like this one compared to bianco leggero because if you do want something similar to Bianco Leggero, this is literally the same thing. They describe it the same way. And to me, it is creamy. It is smooth, just like Bianco Leggero. But I had to do it espresso. Lungo is not recommended. And I wouldn't recommend it doing it as a lungo. Um, but this one is kind of like Bianco Leggero. Like biscuity, sweet biscuit, smooth and sweet. And then your aromatic notes are sweet biscuit and caramel. Again, it is very, very similar to Bianco Leggero. So if you guys have the original line and I've heard like the buzz with Bianco Leggero, just get Chiaro. All right, the next one. Ooh, La Cumplida. Let me put my phone down. La Cumplida Refinada. I did a whole video reviewing this pod for the virtual line and i love it in the original line as well. I've tried it hot, I've tried it iced, and I feel like it is the same thing so if you guys are looking for something like la cumplida in the original line just get la cumplida refinada and this one you would definitely do it um, either as espresso or they even say that you can do it as a lungo i've never done it as a lungo i per personally just prefer it as espresso but again i haven't tried it as a lungo so you tell me if you guys have tried this one as a lungo how did you like it the level intensity is a five and then it's candied cherry and pomegranate just like the um, la cumplida refinada from the virtual line so again you can do this one as um, espresso or lungo and keep in mind the grand lungos from virtual line give you slightly more brew than the lungos from the original line i believe that the lungos from the virtual line will give you five ounces yeah the grand lungos will give you five ounces and the ones from the original line are going to give you three ounces with seven 3.7 ounces so they're a little bit shorter of a brew but they're just really flavorful i mean i guess if you don't like lungos from the virtual line maybe try the lungos from the um the original line and they again have more variety than the virtual line the original line is always going to have so much so much more variety the only thing that sucks is that they don't have um costa rica in the original line and that is actually one of my favorite flavors from the virtual line so this is why i justify having both machines let me choose the next one. Oh, cool okay so this is called nicaragua so honestly, they have two Nicaraguas. This is just the regular Nicaragua and then La Cumplida Refinada is also a Nicaraguan capsule. This one is really nice. It's very, very mellow, but it's nice and sweet and easy to drink. And it pairs well with lots of syrups, in my opinion. Oh, um, this one, perfect with chocolate anything. So that's usually how I drink it. Chocolate sauce, chocolate syrup, even chocolate almond milk super good so this one is a level intensity five and they describe it as the aromatic profile sweet and harmonious and then the aromatic notes are honey and cereal i don't know if i said it but this one you can brew it either as espresso or lungo i think i've tried both and i like both i mainly do it as a lungo to be honest i haven't tried it iced i usually do it hot and it's just it is a really nice 
cup of coffee in the morning longo wise this is buenos aires this is how the pod looks such a pretty like design buenos aires is a level intensity four and this one is a longo i've done it espresso a few times but i honestly prefer it as a longo hot unless i'm doing iced coffee then i'll do it as espresso usually when i'm drinking a hot it's always a longo and so this one is described as its profile is a sweet and cereal and then their aromatic notes is nuttiness and sweetness. So this one, I like drinking it with pistachio syrup. Super good. I do have a pistachio latte recipe. I think I'll put it up above. But I didn't use this pod. I actually forgot what pod I used. But I'll link it up above so you guys can recreate it with this pod. And if you guys do, I would do maybe two shots of espresso if you want to make it a latte. But if you want to do that latte, you can replace it with this pod. And I think it'll be so so good i still have to try i actually ordered the macadamia nut syrup some um a few of you guys told me that it was a really good syrup so i think i'm gonna try it with the buenos aires pod hazelnut is also another great option the pink house alchemy syrup in hazelnut is divine with this pod so just another great pod i think this one is only seven dollars a sleeve so there you go that's another thing with um original line the pods if you're only using one it's obviously a lot cheaper than the virtual line all right next pod so this is venezia i think that's what it's called inspiracione venezia i don't know if i'm saying that right but this is what the pod looks like it's gold with some brown bladder all over this one i ended up getting it specifically for my dad because i know he likes like a more like coffee flavor just a little bit more intense although he doesn't like bianco forte so i don't i'm telling you that pod bianco forte it's something else but he really likes this one and i actually really do too and it surprises me because this one is a level intensity eight and the way that they describe it online is its profile balanced and thick body and then the aromatic notes are roasted and caramel you can actually once you add milk you can actually taste the caramel notes to this one it's it's a really nice pot and i think that's why maybe i, I like it and the intensity even though it's a level eight i think it falls in my opinion still in the medium roast realm so i like it it's really 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 good all right next vanilla eclair this is how the pod looks like super cute I definitely have to mention this one because the one sleeve that I recently got, I went through it super fast. And I have a few reels using this pod. If I have any, like, I'll, I'll put them on the side for you guys. But Vanilla Eclair is super yummy. And I absolutely adore it with the Monin French Vanilla Syrup. It's so good. So again, this is from their Barista Creations line. So they're made specifically for milk. And again, same thing as like what I said with Caramel Cookie uh, from Virtual Line. This one, I also like the vanilla version for the Virtual Line, but it's a coffee capsule. And if I want a latte with this flavor, then the original line is where it's at with that one. That's the beauty of it. So you're going to drink it as an espresso and you can make it hot or iced. I usually drink these iced. All right, last but definitely not least is Scuro. This is how the pod looks like. I already talked about Chiaro and how this one is a dupe for the Bianco Leggero. Scuro is a dupe for double espresso Chiaro. So it's a little confusing, but honestly, it, it is. Scuro, I'm going to show you guys what the description is as described as. Their air, its aromatic profile is intense and the notes are roasted yet balanced. So again, if you guys do enjoy double espresso Chiaro and are kind of venturing into the original line, definitely try Scuro because this one is another one that mixes well with a lot of flavors. And if you want to try the Starbucks um, brown sugar shake and espresso drink that I have, I actually have a reel for it and I have a YouTube video recipe for it. If you're within the original line, this is the pod to do. Although, a lot of you guys have told me that La Cumplida Refinada is also a good one and I have tried it with the virtual line. So this one wouldn't be another bad choice for that recipe. But Scoro is really, really nice. Whatever syrup you like, just try it with that and you won't be disappointed. That's what I think. So, so those are the first... <laughs> It's harder than I thought, but yeah, those are the first 10 capsules that I wanted to share with you guys as far as the original line. 
and i think if you recently bought a machine and you want to know what to order those 10 is where it's at to start with so it is iced coffee time soon why don't we do a recipe yeah let's do buenos aires pistachio latte since i was talking about that earlier now i'm kind of craving it so that's what we're gonna do today let's get brewing our drink guys that oat milk froth so good with the handheld frother and i always just do it when i'm doing iced coffee i'm just gonna mix everything up yes oh, yes so good so good guys all right so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video 10 of my favorite pads and this quick little pistachio recipe using buenos aires as espresso that completes this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye